You know what? This is about truth. This is about truth. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Uh, and hey man, I'm your host Beaker. We got Melly and Pie up there. And we got kind of a different video today because I'm going to tell you the story about how all of my credit cards got stolen while we were doing a video. But guys, before we get into this, get your shades on, get your shoes off. It's actually pretty dark here today. I might just like keep the shades like here. Can we do that? How about, how about we'll put them on for now. We'll take them off in a minute. If you guys don't know, if you're like, why is this guy putting on sunglasses? What, what are those like? Are those raccoons up there? No, those are my bunnies. Melvin and Paya. Hey guys. And we wear these shades for good luck. Anyway, <laughs> the good luck hasn't worked lately. So, uh, you know what? Let's just go. So man, I, I do understand the irony of, and by the way, we're gonna play Clash throughout this, even though I'm just telling a story, we're gonna play Clash throughout this because I'm gonna lose my mind otherwise. I got so nervous about this because normally I have always thought if my credit card is in my pocket, right? Like I got my Apple card. Actually, I didn't even think I had the Apple card because you don't need the physical card, right? It's on your phone. But my other cards, which one of them is like for the business, it's for Beaker's Lab in my pocket, along with all my other ones, the Best Buy card, all these other ones. And I think when they're in my pocket, they're safe, right? Like if somebody physically takes my wallet, I'm worried. That isn't what happened, guys. That's not what happened. Guys, I wouldn't have even noticed that my credit cards got stolen, but my wife said something like, yo, my numbers, my credit card number has some weird charges on it. I think it's fraud. I got a call about it. I was like, great, cool, good luck. And then I realized it had happened to mine too. <laughs> Man, that's true. Like when something bad happens to somebody that you know or just you hear about, you're sometimes like, oh, that sucks. You know, like you, you genuinely do feel for them, but you don't think about like, oh, wait, is that gonna happen to me too? Like, you did, I don't know. I feel like a, a lot of people in my life got that way with COVID and for, you know, for right or wrong. Either way, guys, I noticed during the video, there was a bunch of charges on my Apple, not Apple card, my, my business card. I think it's like a Capital One card. They were just, they were from halfway across the country, right? It was from like Indiana and I'm I'm all the way up here in the Northeast of, 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 of the United States in Vermont. So it obviously wasn't me. And you know what they were doing? I think they were just like testing the waters. They were just buying like really small things and they were routing it through like PayPal. So it was just a, hang on. My dentist is calling. Why is my dentist calling? Monday, this Monday, okay. Awesome. I'll yep, be August there. August 1st, 3 o'clock. All right. We'll see you then. Have a good weekend. Awesome. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Guys, I forgot I had a dentist appointment. I hate the dentist. Oh my God. I don't hate it as much as I hate getting my credit card stolen. But either way, yeah, man. However my credit cards were stolen, I think it probably had to, like, something wirelessly, right? I heard the guy who I was talking to at Capital One that was helping me with this, he was saying, like, you know, it, it, it seems like people can steal your credit card now wirelessly. And I don't mean to sound like an old boomer and being like, ah, oh, like, how does that, like, that's how my parents have been about this. Or like, how is that possible? Dude, anything is possible. We're living in the future. Of course it's possible. But you never think it's going to happen to you until it does. It's like when I had cancer in 2016, like, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, look, I know that happens all the time, but I didn't think it was ever going to happen to me. And that's an awful thing to say. It's, an, it's just how our brains work. We can't think that way, but we do. I guess the moral of the story is, you can fix this stuff if you catch it right away. Same with the cancer thing, right? You, you catch this stuff early. And I've been guilty at times in my life of just not paying attention when I don't care about something. Like the ADHD kid in me, if I don't, like I don't care about bills. Like, I mean, I pay them, you know what I mean? But I don't look at them. I, I don't care about like, you know, going to the doctor and like asking questions. I go, but I'm not like, yo, I'm worried about my health. Like, you know, these things go to the side. We just don't think about them until stuff starts going wrong. Now, next up, guys, I want to show you what the people bought with this, because the weirdest part is still coming up. And I'm going to show you guys. Hang on. OK, so by the way, did we just get a three star? That was sick. I uh, I wasn't sure if we were going to three star because I'm so distracted today. I've been so. Oh, my God, this hurts so bad. Like, I don't owe all this money because some of it was fraud. Right. But looking at my credit card and seeing that I owe $6,000 to them. And like, I gotta pay, look, again, some of it is fraud. It's, I don't have to pay them $6,000 right now, but it's still very stressful, very stressful. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take this. But guys, what I kept thinking about was th the most recent charges on this 
are ridiculous. They are gift cards that were bought, I believe, at a 7-Eleven in Japan. Now, I'm gonna say right off the bat, I wouldn't even know how to do that. They were over $100 each, so they were probably like just, I don't know, 100,000 yen or something. I, I have no idea how much it was, but these gift cards from a 7-Eleven in, in Japan, which was probably used somewhere else. The most shocking thing about this, I had canceled the card already. And somehow, okay, follow me on this. I canceled the card after it got, you know, compromised. They issued a new number immediately. I didn't know that number because I didn't have the card yet. It got hacked that night. Before I even knew what the number was, it had already been compromised and somebody was spending more money on it. So I don't even know, like that was so confusing what I just said. I don't even know if you guys followed what I just said. It doesn't make any sense to me. And this is what I couldn't understand. The guy was saying uh, that I was on the phone with that maybe somewhere along the line, maybe you, you have a Netflix subscription, you have a HBO subscription. If something along the line there in that transaction gets hacked, then somebody can steal your credit card even if you replace it. And like, that hurts. I don't know, man. I just feel bad for everybody involved. Like, not me. Like, don't, not me. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, uh, the money is going to, when when a credit card gets um, broad like this, they investigate it. They look into it. But um, they credit you back the money, I think. I mean, I'm not going to pay the bill until they figure this out for me. So it's like, it's on them. It's on you guys. So... But that being said, it's you, like, you don't want to look at this as like a victimless crime, right? Because I mean, I do think there are things in this world that that truly don't hurt anybody, but this could. Because if somebody is truly like when you're living in poverty, you know, I, I grew up without much. Like my mom really struggled, and if she had a credit card and needed that to like feed us, and it was maxed out because somebody has stolen the number, that that would have been awful. That's not a victimless crime. How much is 128 US dollars in Japanese yen? That would be 17,195 Japanese yen. Okay, so guys, one of the charges that kept coming up was this $128 charge that was from Japan. And I was trying to figure out like, what's the conversion rate there? Like, what were they buying? A 17,000 yen gift card? Or maybe there, maybe there's fifteen thousand, and there was like a transaction fee because it was a U.S. That must have been it, dude. That must have been it. But why? Like what? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. This is it. This is what they bought. Okay, so it's a prepaid card used at Seven Eleven and Denny's restaurants. Wait, so you can only use this as 7-Eleven and Denny's? So, so people got like sodas and like breakfast and stuff with my mind. I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. If that's the case, I mean, I hope, I hope you had a good breakfast. Man, this looks awesome. I can't read any of it, but I love it. Oh man. Wait, but that's it. That's a, like a twenty thousand dollar card, twenty thousand yen card. See, that isn't quite what it was. It was like a fifteen thousand, or maybe they got a couple se seven seventy five hundreds. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh man. You know what? The giraffe kind of makes it all worth it. I love that giraffe. That giraffe is dope. Cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let us know if you did in the comments below. Uh, leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. If for some reason you're watching this video and that's the first one you've ever watched, hi, welcome to the gang. <laughs> I feel like that's unlikely because this is such a rabbit hole of a of a story. Like, why why would this be the first one you've ever seen? But then again, you never know, right? Cool. Um, I'm gonna go say hi to the bunnies. What are you guys doing up there? Oh, sorry, Mel. I freaked him out. All right, cool. We will see you guys right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Connection lost. That's great. Cool. Peace, guys.